So you've taken a second, adjusted yourself to my look. I'll address a few things. <laughs> As you could tell by my haircut, I am a thundercat. <laughs> And also a giant lesbian. <laughs> yes, of course I am. Of course I am. I have a side mullet. Of course I am. <laughs> I'm wearing a jean jacket that would only look good on a lesbian or matador. My point is zero penis summer. <laughs> I was on stage not too long ago, and before I even hit the mic, before I even hit the mic, this dude sitting in the front row, he just yells out at me, you look like a woman that doesn't sleep with man. <laughs> he yelled that at me, like as if I don't know. <laughs> he yelled that at me like he thought I was gonna be like, what do you mean, is it the vest? <laughs> he yelled at me like he thought I was raised on a gay island with a gay volleyball. I'd never seen a straight person. Like he was gonna blow my mind and open my eyes. Here's the thing, guys. I didn't choose my sexuality, but I did put on this outfit. <laughs> this is on purpose to attract women. And it works. <laughs> so if you're a guy out there and you're like, I'm not sure if I'm into that, to you I say, sir, there's no way you're less into me than I am into you. Because I'm not into you at all. You can't go up to a lesbian and yell at her as if it's an insult. You look like a woman that doesn't sleep with men. If you're a lesbian, not sleeping with men is one of the biggest parts of being a lesbian. You're not bummed about it. Every night I just go home, I'm like, not tonight again. <laughs> you can't go up to somebody that's in a minority group, try to insult them with a positive part of being in that minority group. You can't go up to a black person and be like, I bet you don't burn in the sun. Huh? Natural sunscreen? Am I right? I gotcha. Because they would be like, what are you talking about? And that's how I felt that night. Oh, I guess I should, uh, are there any, um, are there any straight people here? Okay, yeah. A couple of people. It's okay. You don't have to feel weird. <laughs> This is a safe space, honestly. I'm an advocate and an ally. I want you to know that. You know, just to be kind of honest and vulnerable with you guys, my parents are straight. Yeah. So I've seen their relationship and I know there can be real love there. I think we can be different. We should celebrate that. We shouldn't shame each other for being different. And I could prove it to you guys with one story. I used to be on this party planning committee. And one day, we were going around this committee table and everybody was suggesting things that they wanted for this party that we were planning. And I said, oh, I think this party needs whack-a-mole. <laughs> I stand by that. <laughs> That's how I want a party. I want to hit animatronic moles on the head with a mallet. But I said, I think this party needs whack-a-mole. Another lady on the committee looks at me and she goes, <laughs> okay, I believe it's pronounced guacamole. <laughs> that lady. Now, we didn't see the world in the same way. We were different. I was talking about something you'd find at Chuck E. Cheese. She was talking about a Mexican appetizer. That didn't make my life worse. If anything, it drastically improved it. Because I got to see the world through her eyes. Oh, and it was a beautiful world. I got to see a world in which I am an adult woman who's been walking into Chipotle's for years, for years, just going like, oh, whack-a-mole's extra? <laughs> well, how much are jalapenos? <laughs> That's who that woman thinks I am. And she also thinks nobody has ever told me. Do you get that? Like, we're in a room full of people, so before she speaks, there's totally a moment where she's just like, oh, nobody's gonna correct this lady. <laughs> like, in her mind, when she speaks up, she is a hero. Just like, the buck stops with me. I can sleep well tonight. I loved her for it. I loved her for it. I didn't correct her. I didn't tell her she was wrong. I just said, lady, thank you very much. <laughs> and that's how we should treat each other. You guys, I'm Cameron Esposito. Thank you so much.